you, Nilesh. You were absent yesterday. Yes, ma'am. What happened? Ma'am, actually, we are uh, watching a movie. That's why. Okay. So you missed the class because of the movie? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, we will start. Okay, since the time is five fifty four, four minutes up. Okay, can you share and see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dinesh, you were absent yesterday. We had done four exercises. 5 till 5.4 we had done. Okay, so today we'll be starting 5.5. Okay, ma'am. Uh, just go through the exercise. If you have any doubts, you can go through the homework. You can see the video again. You have the recording also. Then you can see. Okay, ma'am. Uh, Okay, let's start this. Now, see question number five. Uh, I am done with my test. What happened? Mom, I'm done with my test. You're done with your test. Okay, nice. Good. Okay. Now, see uh, which of the following are models for perpendicular lines? Now, the first one is the adjacent edges of a tabletop. See, you are still sitting on it. Uh, you are using a study table, okay? So, if you see the edges at the corner, at one corner of your table, the edges that are meeting, are they forming a perpendicular lines? Yes or no? Mom, yes. Yes? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma uh -huh. So, that means... This one is performing a perpendicular lines. Okay. Next one, the lines of a railway track. Are they formed? Do they form a perpendicular lines? No, ma'am. No, no ma'am. They are parallel lines. Yes, they are parallel lines. So they don't. The line segment forming the letter L. Writing L. No. Is that perpendicular line? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No. Letter V. Is it forming no, a ma no, 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 this is not. No, no. Okay, let line segment PQ. You know, whenever we write some line segment, we put a bar. This is a symbol for putting writing line segment. So line segment PQ be the perpendicular to the line segment XY. Now it's saying one line PQ is perpendicular to the line segment XY. Let PQ and XY intersect at a point A. So it's saying let these two lines intersect. Intersect means they cross each other at point A. What is the measure of angle PAY? So what is the angle of PAY? Why sir? 90 degrees? Yes, exactly. It's 90 degrees. Why 90 degrees? Because it's Mom? between the question that PQ is perpendicular to XY. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, if it is perpendicular, that is, it's 90 degree. Okay. Next. Yes. The next question. Divesh, you read the next question. Okay, ma'am. Uh -huh. There are two set squares in a box. What are the measures of the angles uh, that are formed in the corners? Do they have any angle measure that is common? Uh, do they have any angle measure that is common? Now you must be having your geometry box with you. Okay? In your geometry box, you have two set squares, is it? So the angle, you know, what is the angle measure of the set squares? Set squares, set squares are like this two set of triangular things you have in your geometry box. Okay. So the angle measure of these set squares is one angle is 90 degrees in one set square. 
other angle is uh, 60 degrees and 30 degrees. And in another set square, the angle is 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and again 45 degrees. Okay? Okay? So one is isosceles set square. Okay? If you want to measure it, you can measure it also. You can check your set squares. So these are the measurements of the set squares. 30, 60, and 90, and 45, 45, and 90. Okay, all degrees. This is the measure of this. Ma'am, 90 degree is the same in two triangles. Yes, so what is common? 90 degrees is common. Okay. So do they have any angle measure that is common? Yes. So that is, yes, that is 90 degrees. Okay, now study the diagram. The line L is perpendicular to line M. Now these are the, as you can see the figure here, this is line L. This is line M. Okay. The line L is perpendicular to M. Now you have to answer these questions. Is CE equals to EG? CE equals to EG. Are they equal? Ritesh, tell me. Yes, ma'am. Because uh, like the um, distance between CE is equals to distance between EG. Yes, both the distances are equal. Okay. So, yes. See the next one. Does PE bisect CG? Now, this is P and E. PE bisect CG. Charvik will tell me. PE does PE bisect CG. Bisect means what? Mom, bisect means uh, like crossing. Crossing means then what is intersecting? Um, um, Mom, can you tell what's the meaning of bisect? Yesterday only I had told you that bisector means, bisecting means dividing into equal parts. Okay. okay. Uh, cutting in such a way so that the baseline gets divided into equal parts. Okay, bisecting means dividing into equal parts. Now, it's the question is, does PE bisect CG? Now, this is your PE. From P to E, this is P. P is Mom, your I can't see it. I can't see the screen. Okay. Thus, can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Mom, but uh, I can't see. Uh, so some technical problem must be there your side. Mom, uh, once I leave and join. Okay, so this is PE and this is C to G. Now this is two units on the left side and two units on the right side. So that means it's dividing the line into two equal parts. Okay, two units on this side, two units on the other side. So does PE bisect CG? So yes. Okay, uh, next, Ritesh, uh, read the C part. Identify any two line segments for which PE is perpendicular is the perpendicular bisector. Uh, so you have to identify two line segments for which PE is the perpendicular bisector. That means already we know PE is perpendicular on line L. So we have to find out one, one more such point where PE is the bisector, perpendicular bisector. Like here, one point, one line, one segment was C to G. Can you name any other line segment which is equally getting bisected? Um, Ma'am, we, um, we can take D and B and H. H. B and H. B and H, yes. Good, B to H, B, H, okay? Because if we take B this side, these are 1, 2, 3, 3 units this side and 3 units this side. Okay? Line segment DH. Okay? Other line, one line was CG which we already saw in this B part. Other one is DH. Okay? Divesh, you will tell me now, are these true? 
AC Ma'am, greater than FG? Yes, ma'am, it is true. Okay. Uh, CD is equal to GH. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I think all three are true. Okay, CD is equal to GH. Yes, that is also one unit. All three are true. That means BC is less than EH. Okay, that is also true. Yes, right. Okay, now coming to triangles part. Have you all done the homework yesterday? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes. Have you done? Mom, we have done it. No. Mom, we have done it. Mom, we are done. Mom, you are not audible. Mom, you are not audible. Hello. Um. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Mom, we did our uh, homework. Okay. Great. Okay, did you all found the measurements using the protector? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good. Okay, now see exercise 5.6. Name the types of the following triangles. Now, we had discussed about triangles, is it? What are acute triangle? What is obtuse triangle? What is right triangle? Then we, on the basis of their sides also, we had discussed what is Kelin triangle, what is isosceles triangle, what is an equilateral triangle. Is it? We all remember that? Do you yes, remember that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, see this. Uh, for question one, name the type of the following triangles. You have to name these triangles. Can we read the first one? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, full bit or on the first A one? A part. A part. Okay. Uh, tri triangle with lengths of side 7 centimeters, 8 centimeters, and 9 centimeters. Ma'am, it's scalene triangle. Ah, it's scalene triangle because on the basis sides are given to you and all sides are different. So that's... Ma'am, because uh, it's no, uh, it has no equal sides. Uh -huh, it has no equal size. So that's scaling triangle. Now, next one is, who else? Let me ask, see who else is there. Man, can I see? Uh -huh, just a second, beta. Let me ask Hridesh. Hridesh is there? Hridesh? Hridesh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Hridesh, read the B part and give the answer. <sighs> It's a triangle PQR such that PQ is equal to QR. Not PQR, this one, B part, triangle ABC. Uh, okay, triangle ABC. Triangle ABC with AB is equal to 8.7 by centimeter. AC is equal to centimeter and BC is equal to centimeter. I have to give uh, like you know names of what type of triangle is this? Isosceles. Huh? Isosceles. What is isosceles triangle? Teacher, which have different uh, basically different sides. You were present for the class yesterday, no? You were present yeah, 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 but uh, like you know, in the middle of my wall, like you know, the microphone, the microphone, I'm telling, speaker was not working. See, then what's the point of taking the class that way? I'm calling out your name and you are not there. 
Hmm? If your speaker phone is not there, you should get it rectified, no? Yeah. Is it one minute? Let me guess again. Until you are able to listen to the teacher. And teacher, is it obtuse angle? Obtuse angle. See, the, all the sides are given. Okay, obtuse is an angle. Here, no angle is given. Only sides are given. So, on the basis of the sides, since all these sides are... Obtuse angle triangle. This is scaling triangle. Okay? It okay. is not equal. Ah, so, it's not equal. That's why it is scaling triangle. Okay. okay. Next. Triangle. Is it but down it's given something else? We'll see later whatever is given down. All sides are of different length. That is known as obtuse angled triangle. Where are you looking? Where is are it you looking? Is it down only in a message of triangle and uh I'm asking this question. Question 1, B part. Can you see this red mark here? Yeah. Okay, Vivesh, read the next. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, the C1, right? Hello, ma'am. Ma'am, can you hear us? Divesh, read the next. Okay, ma'am. Now, triangle PQR such as PQ equals to QR equals to PR equals to 5 cm. Huh. Ma'am, it's a equilateral triangle yes, because all point. sides are 5 cm. Yes, very good, better. Good, since all sides are equal. Okay, now... Charvik, read the next one. D part. Question 1, D. Um, okay, ma'am. Uh, triangle DEF with M or uh, triangle D. M is angle D. M angle D means M measure of D. angle D. Okay, M, M is written for measure. Measure of angle D is equal to 90 degree. Ma'am, it's a uh, right angle triangle. Yeah, this is right angle triangle or right triangle. Yeah. Sritesh, tell me this. Um, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, one Should I ma'am? Huh? Ma'am, since angle Y is 90 degrees, is it right angle? Ah, uh, it's right angle. Yes, one angle is 90, so the right angle is there. And hmm. the next, it's uh, the two sides. Ma'am, um, ma then it's right angle isosceles triangle. Yes, very good. Okay, it's right angle isosceles triangle. Right isosceles triangle. Okay. Okay. Right also. And isosceles triangle. Now next one. Divish, you read the next F. Okay, ma'am. Triangle L M N with measure of uh, measure of angle L equals to 20 degree, measure of angle M equals to 70 degree, and measure of angle N equals to 80 degree. Hmm. Ma'am. Ma'am, is it acute angle triangle? Very good. It's acute angle. Okay. Acute angle triangle or acute triangle. Right? Ma'am, because all the degrees are uh -huh. under 90. Yes, because all angles are less than 90 degrees. Great. Now, next one is you have to match the following. Now, measures, read these left side uh, I uh, things also read the right side also. Okay, I'm giving you one minute. Read these, then we'll match it.
Okay. Let's do three sides of equal length. What is this? Three sides of equal length. When all the three Ma'am, it's equal Ma'am, it's option E equal Yes, good. Now, two sides of equal length. Isosceles. I'm isosceles. Very good. Okay, next, uh, third one. All sides are of different length. I'm scaling. Ridesh is not answering. Ridesh, all are answering. Where is Ridesh? Speak up. Ridesh. Ridesh is not here. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Speak up. Give your answers. Teacher, which one? I'll ask you now. Now, all sides are of different length. What will you match this with? Where will you match? Teacher, it's scaling. It's scaling. Okay. Okay. Now, fourth one. Three acute angles. Ma'am, acute angle. Ridesh, give the answer. Yes. Three, three acute angles. Uh -huh. I'll match this to acute angle. Acute angle. Okay. One right angle. One right angle, right angled. Okay. Obtuse, obtuse angled. Okay. One right, One right angle and two sides are equal. I'll match it to isosceles. Isosceles, right angle. I forgot what was isosceles actually. Isosceles means who's uh, actually right one side will be uh, like you know different land and other side will be equal. Isosceles means triangle whose two sides are equal. Okay. Okay. Triangle whose two sides are equal. And isosceles right angle means a triangle whose two sides are equal and one angle is 90 degrees. Okay. So, it's right-angled also and isosceles also. Okay, next one. Name each of the following triangles in two different ways. Now, you have to name these triangles in two different ways. What are these two different ways? As just now, you had isosceles right-angled. So, it's isosceles also, it's right-angled also. Ma'am, it's acute angle and isosceles. Okay, this is acute angle and isosceles <clears throat> sorry because two sides are equal and uh, angles are also acute all angles are less than 90 degree so it's isosceles acute okay charvik you tell the next one yeah mom mom it's um Mom, it's a scalene and, sorry, oh, not scalene, a scalene and a right angle. Yes, very good. It's scalene and right, right angle. Okay, next. Soumya will tell me. Soumya is here now. Soumya, what type of triangle is this? Mom, yes. which one? This one, C part. Question number three, C1. Mom, uh... okay, Sritej, you tell me this. Mom, it's um, um, obtuse, I mean, isosceles, obtuse angle. Yes, I'm, I'm triangle. Yes, see, Soumya. See, two sides are equal. It's 7 cm this side and 7 cm this side. And this, the angle here is obtuse. That means it's greater than 90 degree. Is it? So, you will call it obtuse isosceles triangle. Okay, Soumya? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now next. Where is... Let's ask somebody else now. So is here. Man, can I say? Okay, just a second. Uh, okay, Divish, you tell me. What is this next one? 
ओके मैम मैम इट इज राइट एंगल एंड आइसोसलेस गुड इट्स राइट एंगल एंड आइसोसलेस ट्राइंगल हरिदेश यू टेल मी दिस वन हरिदेश हरिदेश टेल मी दिस वन हेलो हरिदेश सौम्या यू यस मैम यस मैम हरिदेश यू टेल मी दिस टीचर फाइव पॉइंट टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव फाइव पॉइंट टू ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल सो स्केल लाइन ऑल एंगल्स आर इक्वल ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल सो ऑल साइड्स व्हेन ऑल साइड्स आर इक्वल ऑल एंगल्स आर आल्सो इक्वल ओके सो दिस इज इक्विलैटरल ट्रायंगल ओनली ओके नेक्स्ट इज सौम्या यू टेल द नेक्स्ट वन नाउ uh this is a obtuse ice man the even could be acute angle triangle right so uh, acute also this is acute also but at the same time when all sides are equal all angles are also equal okay okay in equilateral triangle when all sides are equal all angles are also equal so it's you can call it acute equilateral triangle also so it's all the same okay mom can i tell so much uh, wait where is sobia why sobia is not answering yes ma'am ma'am so ma this is a uh, obtuse isosceles triangle obtuse isosceles no isosceles means where you have two sides equal here no two sides are equal all sides are different so it is not isosceles it is scalene where all sides are different that is called scalene triangle okay so it's obtuse because obtuse angle is there and scalene so obtuse and scalene okay now the next one is an activity here you have to do this with match sticks so i'm leaving this this is an activity okay come to next the exercise is over then okay let's move further coming to quadrilaterals now now children you know what is a quadrilateral Yes, yes ma'am. There is a, a, a figure with four, four sides. Four sides. Polygon. Okay. You know everything. I was about to ask you: Have you heard the name quadrilateral? But you know way too much about quadrilaterals. Okay. It is a polygon with four sides. Okay. Quadri means four. Four. Quadri. Quadri means four. So anything which has four. So hence. Here, yeah, since here we are talking about polygons, polygon is a figure which is made of line segments. Okay, that is called polygon. So any polygon with four sides, okay, yes. is called quadrilateral. Like a rectangle is a quadrilateral. Okay, a square is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. Oh, wow. Closed figure. Ma'am, there are four types of quadrilaterals. Yeah. I mean, five segments. Okay. Five. Um, yes. Parallel program or a, a rectangle, rhombus, square, and trapezium. I mean, trapezium. Yes. Very, very good. Okay, good. So this is trapezium. Then parallelogram is here. Then you have rhombus, whose all sides are equal. Okay. And you have kite, okay, whose the adjacent sides are equal. Okay, so these are some quadrilaterals. Now let's come to the exercise part. Let's say two or four. First question: Each angle of a rectangle is a right angle. Is that true? Um. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, it's true. Okay. Next. So, may I tell me, the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in length. No, ma'am, false. No, opposite sides in a rectangle, the opposite sides aren't they equal? 
what is the what are the properties of a rectangle right side opposite sides are equal in length okay this side is equal to this side this side is equal to this side okay so yes, opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in length so that's true okay now divish next one the diagonals of a square are perpendicular to one another ma'am yes ma'am in their room Svitej, all the sides of a rhombus are of equal length. Mm, yes, ma'am. Okay, that's true. Okay. Hridesh, read the next. Tell me the answer. Read the next yourself. Um, teacher, all sides of a parallelogram are equal length. False. All sides of a parallelogram are of equal length. Okay. All are not equal. Opposites are equal. Okay. The opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel. So, may you tell me this one, F part? Teacher, basically it's true. I'm asking Soumya, opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel. Soumya, where are you? Yes, ma'am. Uh, is, tell me about this one. Opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel. True or false? Ma'am, this is false. False. Why this is false? What should be the correct answer? What should be the correct Ma answer? All the, sides, all the sides are not equal of a trapezium. That, uh, that is parallel. Arpa. Nothing, all the sides are not equal. Not, uh, it's not asking equal, it's asking the opposite sides are, opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel. So, is it for all the sides? No, ma'am. Now, uh, then give the clear answer. One pair of opposite side is parallel, okay? Yes. And other pair of opposite side is non-parallel. Okay, Soumya? Yes, Suppose this is a trapezium. Here, these one pair of opposite side is parallel. This is not parallel to this. Okay, this is not parallel to this. Because they will meet somewhere. But these two sides are one only one pair of opposite side is parallel. Yes, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Yes, hello. Yeah, ma'am. Okay. I was asking, uh, Tesh, you tell me a square can be thought of as a special rectangle? Can we uh, Ma'am, because uh, all of its sides are equal. Uh, square is the kind of rectangle only whose all sides are equal. Okay. Yes, uh, so we can see. Now next one, Charvik. 
or yam a rectangle can be thought of as a special parallelogram par, par, uh, hmm. mom actually it can be but mom uh, there's a bit difference hmm. like for a parallel parallel what is it parallelogram and a rectangle mom a length and breadth would be same but like uh, it would be different length would be same and breadth would be a uh, uh, different but a uh, parallelogram is bit slid um, slid tilted 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 means angles are not equal as in yep. as in rectangle um, but the uh, if we see the measure of the uh, what is it um lines it would be same okay see in parallel in, in rectangle and parallelogram the similarity is that the opposite sides are equal and parallel okay yeah in both rectangle and parallelogram but if you talk about angles in rectangles all the angles are 90 degrees but in parallelogram this is not so how much a bit active uh, the opposite angles the diagonal angles are equal okay and the adjacent angles are if you add them up it comes to 180 degrees but we can call that rectangle can be thought of as a special parallelogram rectangle is a special type of parallelogram whose all angles are 90 degrees okay okay ma'am okay next one is uh divesh divesh okay, it can be thought of a special rhombus Yes, ma'am, it can be. Uh, we can say that it is a special kind of rhombus. Ma'am, it can be a special kind of rhombus. Yes, nice. The reason behind that is, give reason. Give reason. How can you say that? Ma'am, for square, ma'am, all sides are equal and... Uh... Opposite diagonals are equal and perpendicular to each other. Okay. In rom in rhombus also, all sides are equal and only opposite sides are equal and par parallel to each other. Uh, so that means if in rhombus, if we make all angles 90 degrees, can it become a square? If in rhombus, yes, we make all angles yes, equal to 90 degrees, so it becomes a square. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it's a special case. It's a special rhombus. Okay, now D part. Squares, rectangles, parallelograms are all quadrilaterals. Are they? Squares. Mom, you didn't connect anyone. Okay. So, Amya, you tell me. Where is Samya? Yes, ma'am. Hello. Swamya, tell me this. Squares, rectangles, parallelograms. Are they all quadrilaterals? What are quadrilaterals? Ma'am, quadrilaterals are those... Just now I discussed here. That means you are not paying attention, Somya. Just now I discussed here. This is any closed figure which has four sides. Okay. Any closed polygon which has four sides is called quadrilateral. So square is a quadrilateral. Rectangle is a quadrilateral. Parallelogram. I made all the figures here. Rectangle, square, parallelogram. Okay. Okay, next. Square is also a parallelogram. Ridesh will tell me this. Ridesh. Oh, yeah, ma'am. Uh, give reason why square is also a parallelogram. Teacher, because it has four sides. Uh, so Both sides, uh, all angles are equal, all uh, sides are equal. Yeah, that one is only, and it's a 2D shape. It's a 
2D shape. It's a which shape? 2D. Two dimensional. 2D, 2D shape. Okay. Mom, the main reason is that when we join the diagonals of a parallelogram and a square, they both are perpendicular. Yes. Diagonals are also perpendicular. So we can see all sides are equal. Okay, opposite sides are equal. And yes. the diagonals also are perpendicular. Ma'am, the difference is in the square, yes. all sides are equal, perpendicular. but in the parallelogram, only opposite sides are equal. Only opposite sides are equal. But here also you can say, although square has all sides equal, but opposite sides are also equal. Okay. So if we can say that it's a special case. A figure is said to be regular if sides are equal in length and the angles are equal in measure. Okay. Can you identify the regular quadrilateral? Okay. Now see, we call any figure as a regular polygon when we have all its sides equal, all its angles equal. If I have to put suppose uh, I'm talking about quadrilaterals if I have a quadrilateral okay this is a square so this is a regular quadrilateral because all sides are equal all angles are equal any polygon which has all sides equal and all angles equal are called regular polygon okay 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 Huh. Okay, ma'am. Like here in quadrilateral, we can say square is there. Okay. And uh, in quadrilaterals, we have the four-sided figure, we have square. Okay. Otherwise, in triangles, we have... Triangle is not a quadrilateral, but it's a polygon. So, we can say this equilateral triangle. Okay. It's a regular polygon. Okay. Coming to the next part, that is polygons. Okay, now see, any polygon with three sides is a triangle. Look here, any polygon with four sides is called quadrilateral. Any polygon with five sides is called pentagon. Okay, word penta is written for five. Any polygon with six sides is called hexagon. Word hexa is written for six. Any polygon with seven, eight sides is called octagon. Okay. No, no, wait, seven sides is called heptagon. Uh, seven is not given here, but seven is called heptagon. Okay. Okay. Now coming to this part. Examine whether the following are polygons. If any one among them is not C, Y. Okay. Now you have to identify. Ma'am, only B is polygon. Uh -huh. Ma'am, A is an open figure, C is a curve, and D is a curve. Uh -huh. C, A is not a closed figure. This is open from A. This, okay. So, we, this is not a polygon. B is a polygon because it is a closed figure and it is made of line segments. Okay. So, we can call it a polygon. And uh, this is, since this is a curved figure, okay, so this is not a polygon. Here also we have a curve here, so this is not a polygon, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma now see the next, name each polygon. Now this side has, this polygon has four sides. Can you name this polygon? My quadrilateral. Yes, this is quadrilateral. Now this Mom, one can is triangle. 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 This has my pentagon. 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 Oh. This octagon. octagon. Okay, octagon. Okay. Now it's making me two more examples of each of these. So you can try two more examples of each type of polygon. Okay, now see the next one. Draw a rough sketch of a regular hexagon connecting any three of its vertices. Now it's saying make a regular hexagon. So I'll just try a regular hexagon. Regular. How much is six sided shape? Six sided shape. 
regular hexagons all sides and angles are equal man can you hear us Now see, this is a regular hexagon. I am connecting three vertices. One vertex is here, two and three. Okay, so I am connecting. Now see, when I connect these three vertices, what triangle? What kind of triangle am I getting here? Ma'am, isosceles triangle. Yes. yes. I am getting isosceles triangle because I am getting two equal sides I am getting and one more side. So that means this triangle Ma is... Ma'am, I think it could also be acute angle. Ah, you can call it acute also. So I am getting this acute isosceles triangle. Okay. Are you all understanding this? How have I got this? Yes, ma'am. Ma the question was this. Identify the type of triangle. So the type of triangle is isosceles triangle and also acute triangle. Ma'am, but acute uh, triangle won't come, ma'am. Huh? Ma'am, but acute uh, triangle won't come, no, ma'am. So, I'm not going on the acute part. Then I'll leave on the acute. Here, you're not asked to uh, say this in, the, in two different ways. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. So, just one is enough. Okay, now see question number four. Draw a rough sketch of a regular octagon. Use squared paper if you wish to. Okay, draw a rectangle by joining exactly four of the vertices of the octagon. Now you all please draw octagon in your notebooks. Draw octagon. And join the vertices. Yes, ma'am, I joined the vertices. Join, uh, join the four vertices. Yes, ma'am, I joined the four vertices. Good. What did you get there? Ma'am, I got a rectangle. You got the rectangle? Okay, that's nice. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, let me make a good one. Okay, so if I join here these two, uh, one second. If I, oh, oh, let me make a good figure. Okay, so if I join these two, these two. I'm joining four vertices. One, two, three, four. So what figure I'm getting here is this is a rectangle. In between the four, I'm getting a rectangle here. Yes, ma'am. I too got a rectangle. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, I also got a rectangle. Yes, good. So if I see this top part, what am I left with? What are the remaining figures here? This is a trapezium. When they're parallelogram and trapeziums. This is a trapezium. Both are trapeziums, not parallel. Okay, both are trapezium. Both have this parallel side and this parallel sides. Other two are non-parallel sides. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. Now see the fifth one. The diagonal is a line segment that joins any two vertices of the polygon. Okay, so diagonal is that figure which joins two vertices of the opposite sides. And it's not a side of the polygon. Draw a rough sketch of a pentagon and draw its diagonals. Okay, let's draw a pentagon first. All of you draw a pentagon in your notebooks? Yeah.
and then join the diagonals. Joining the diagonal means joining different vertices. I'm joining here, this vertex with here, this one here. Then I'm joining this here. I'm joining this here. Okay. And anything that is left? Ma'am, I got five joining, diagonals. Uh, I'm joining this here. Okay. How many diagonals I've made? Ma'am, I got five diagonals. Uh -huh, five diagonals. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yes, those are sides. Mom, I took out a five diagonals. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so you have got five diagonals. Yeah, it's like a star in the middle. It's like a star. If I have to name it, what will I say? A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Now, what are my five diagonals? I can say A, C is one diagonal. Ma'am, A, C, A, D, E, B, D, B, and E, C. C, E. Okay. And one more is there. Ma'am, I got disconnected. BD also. BD I got, also. I got, yes. I got disconnected. Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, so these are the five diagonals, right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. With, uh, with this, you are done with this exercise and the polygon part. Have you all understood this much? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now last five minutes are left. Let's see the three-dimensional shapes. Okay, now three-dimensional shapes are like, you know, like a ball, a cylindrical vessel, a cuboid. Okay, a cube. Okay, when you... Uh, Ma'am, pyramid. Uh, yes, a dice. Sphere. Okay, a dice you play with. So those type of figures are called three-dimensional figures. Okay. See, you must uh, do this. This is an exercise part. Uh, this is example part in your book. Okay. Although you have done this in your junior classes, but still you must look into it. A cuboid looks like a rectangular box. Okay, it has six faces, four edges, four corners. Now tell me about the cube. Tell me about the cube. Hello. It how many faces it has? Ma'am, six. It has six faces. How many edges? Ma'am, four. Edges. Ma'am, twelve. Twelve. Okay, see here all these edges, four on the top, four at the bottom and four on the sides. If I draw the back part also, it will be like this. Four on top, four here and four on the sides. So 12. How many vertices? Eight vertices. Okay. Next one. A triangular pyramid. Tell me about a triangular pyramid. Ma'am, it has four faces. Okay. Okay, tell me. Four faces. Okay. And Edges. five edges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same six edges. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is it? That Is six it? edges? Yes. One, six edges. Yes, six edges. I've marked there six edges. 
Yes. Next. How many corners are there? Yeah, four corners. Four corners. Yes. Next one. Okay, tell me the next one. A square pyramid has a square as its base. Okay. Square has its base. Now, how many faces are there? Count the faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. From six. Okay. Six faces. <clears throat> One, one is this, second, third, one, two, three, and uh, fourth on the back. So that's four. Remember that I got six. One second. You have four on either side. One, two, three, and four, and then base one is five. Five faces. Okay. Four on either side. See, one side, one is here. Second one is here. Third one is this front part. Fourth one is the back part. Then fifth one is the base. Okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Five faces. Uh -huh. And how many edges? Four edges are at the base here. And one, two, three, four, eight. four sides. Eight. Okay? How many corners are there? Uh -huh. Five corners. Uh -huh. Four at the base. Five corners. So that's five. Okay. Now question number five. A triangular prism. Triangular prism looks like a shape of a caleidoscope. It has triangles its base. Okay. Now how many faces? How many faces? I just count the number of faces. One. Five. Two, five. Four and Five fifth one is at the back. So five. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, I'm nine. Five, six, seven, eight, yeah. and three. Right? How many corners it has? One, I'm six. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Understood? Just see the figure and answer it. You will get, you might get such tiny type of figures in your exam and you will be asked to write all these. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Now see this exercise. Just can you match this? Which is the cone? Um, cone is uh, two. Second one. Okay. Um, second one. Okay, this is. Okay. Here is four. Here is fourth one. Here is this. Ma'am, okay. cylinder is Cylinder is cuboid is three. Pyramid is I. Ma'am, cuboid is three. Pyramid is I. One. This one. Okay. Okay. What's next? What shape is your instrument box? Your geometry box is what shape is that? A brick. Mom cuboid. Cuboid. Matchbox. Cuboid. A road roller. Cylindrical. Cylindrical. Okay. A sweet ladu. Sphere. 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 So here you are done with 3D shapes also. Okay? Okay, children? Yes, ma'am. I think everything is clear to you. Any doubts in anything? If you have any doubts, you can go through the recording once again. Okay? And still if you have, you can we can discuss. Okay? So thank you for today. Your class time is over. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Ma Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day.